Hello Goblins, it's Chris Eldritch Pipes. It's an episode of this week's Pipes. A day later than usual, I finished work yesterday and frankly, I just didn't have the energy for it. I, uh, I slacked off. I'm smoking. Some Dunhill Dark Flake. That was the last of that tin. There's maybe half a bowl, a third of a bowl in there. But not to fear, I have another tin. It's all right. Nobody panic. This week. Oh yes, I wanted to show you something. You may or may not be aware that my resin gets sold to pen makers as well. And one of them, a very nice chap, um, sent me uh, sent me a blank blank back in the form of a pipe. In the form of a pen. This is the mother of pearl resin that I make. Isn't that lovely? I've not seen uh, this style before. It's almost uh, got a, a bullet theme to it. Yeah. Really um, interesting action on the... Where is it? You can see them that way. Really nice pen. It is made by a chap called Nick Allwood. Uh, so if you're interested in pens, you really should hit him up because um, that's a fantastic little piece. He's in the UK. Um, you can hit him up on uh, Facebook, I think. Nick Allwood. Um, his little profile picture there is of uh, an assistant lab Labrador. That's how you can recognise him. Really lovely chap. Spoke to him the other day about doing some bespoke resin for it. And um, I did, when he said he was going to send me one, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but I'm pretty blown away with that. It is like a, like a gunmetal colour. Really cool. So cheers, Nick. I've also this week just finished watching Anthracite on Netflix. And you should watch it if you like uh, your mystery dramas. This one's quite quirky. <laughs> Um, and surrounding strange cult activity. And who doesn't like that? So highly recommend that. Um, it's, about, it's quite short. It's only six episodes instead of eight that they normally run for these days. I was going to answer a question. I think, was it last week or was it a week before? Somebody had said, they noticed that I smoke this pipe quite often. And I smoke different tobaccos in it. They said, do you often get ghosting? And the answer is absolutely. In fact, sometimes I deliberately do employ the ghosting effect. Uh, the best thing to do it with 
uh, is Ennerdale. You, you can use St. Bruno, but I like Ennerdale to ghost my pipe with. And then two or three smokes after that, you get the Ennerdale flavour in the background, which um, I really like. But, you know, I'm a pipe maker. I'm not a well-behaved pipe smoker. Yeah. Right. This week's pipes. Got two of them. And both of them are unusual in that I don't make them very often and one in that it's quite unusual. I have made it before but uh, only one and about a year ago now if not slightly more than a year. I'll do that one second. The first one It's a Dublin sitter uh, in this style, uh, in this eldritch version, uh, I call it the Wizard Waitley. Uh, the kind of like the features that go through is that it's got it's a black sand blast for a start. He's a sitter, obviously. Um, we get some contrast blasting around the shank and around the rim. Nice little sandblast. Uh, quite a fair bit of bird's eye revealed on the rim there. And you can see the plateau on the rim. I usually try and get a little bit of plateau on the rim for this pipe. Uh, just to give it that more rustic look. Because the Waitleys weren't, weren't, you know, a family of high sophistication. They were rustic people. And paired with some moss green Cumberland. I haven't made one of these in a while. I was a little worried. Any time that you don't do a shape for a bit, you sort of have to access older memories. <laughs> it's not like doing an acorn or a strawberry or a reading pipe or a Viking horn. I can do those from muscle memory, more or less. Um, but when you do one of a shape you haven't done for a while, you're like, how was that again? Obviously it's a tapered bowl, um, and getting those lines, lines, generally I'm not a person of lines, not like that, uh, and so, but, it, but it, I suppose if the final effect is, is pleasing, so it looks very deliberate, it looks very designed, I think. Wizard Waitley. And now that I've done that one, I've got another one to make. <laughs> uh, later in the year. Right.
This is a nice little piece. This is slightly evolved from the original version. I've added more flutes to the design than the, than the first one. Uh, but anyway, this is a gilded lily uh, for obvious reasons. There's a number of things going on. It turns to have a quite a wide plateau rim, just due to the uh, the overall shape. It lends itself to like a wide brim. Obviously, then the you have these these flutes that are sort of like the petals. Sort of like the petals. I like to think. Uh, then it's slightly sandblasted, just to give it a nice texture, rather than smooth. Although, actually, it occurred to me, it would be quite nice to do this finish on a smooth pipe. So I might actually look at that this week coming and see uh, if I can swing that. I don't know, it just, I can see it in my mind's eye. Just a smooth variegated metal finish. I think it would work. But anyway, then it's ver this variegated metal leaf, which is, I really like it. Obviously I've used gold leaf in the past and so have other pipe makers. I've seen like full gold leaf pipes uh, and that's totally cool but um, for me the variegated um, is special. I think it adds something special. It's quite interesting doing the finish I had to work the finish, do quite a few tests before I started doing these. You need one finish to protect the metal against oxidation. And then, but then that's not quite appropriate for, at least the one that I've used, is not quite appropriate for handling. And so another, another finish goes on top of that so that you can handle it without it rubbing off because that would be sad if it rubbed off. But there you go. Gilded Lily. Quite a unique piece, if I say so myself. Hmm. Got a bit colder. The week before I was coming out into the workshop without my coat, and then this week it's definitely been a fair bit colder. Weather, eh? You just can't predict it. Um, just as a reminder, we've got like the British pipe smoking competition coming up on the 11th of May. If you haven't remembered to put that in your diary, Put it in your diary, stick it on your calendar, put a message on your phone, don't miss it. Uh, it's hosted by uh, Ian Walker of Northern Briars and it's up around in his parts uh, at the King's Lock in Chowdhury. So that'll be good. I'm looking forward to that. I've got to have at least a pipe ready for them because we're supposed to be unveiling a four horsemen box set so I've got to get my arse into gear I will do this week this week coming or maybe next week I can't decide <laughs> all right that's it from me I should be back next week all being well uh, so until then everyone take it very easy the loyal pipe maker <laughs>